Coming to you live from their studio in South Florida, Twist Gaming! Featuring lead broadcaster, Matt Koza. Co-host and creative genius, Josh Perry. Co-host and interviewer extraordinaire, Anne Lazito. Co-host and marketing mogul, Aaron Murphy. With appearances from special guest, Lucy. Welcome to Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. We are coming to you live here from our studio in sunny South Florida, bringing you another episode of our Spotlight Stream, where we show off awesome games jump just coming out into the biz. But first up, who are we? As usual, I'm Matt. I'm Ann. I'm Josh. And we're Twist Gaming, and tonight we are joined with Justin from Fireside Games. How are you doing today, Justin? Pretty good. Hello, everybody. So, Justin, super excited to show off Grackles for real. I know we've we've previewed it at a lot right. of the conventions. It's got some mm -hmm. nice buzz behind it, and I'm super excited to play it. And I'm going to do my favorite part of the, the, the show here, and I'm going to throw it to Anne so she can do what she does best. So. I throw it. Ah, look, I caught it. That was... <laughs> We're really amping up the cheese level tonight. Perfect. Um, so, you know, Justin, last time I got to play this, we got to play at Origins, and you beat me. Mm -hmm. That's what I remember. It was good. That's good. <laughs> Talk to me a little bit about Grackles as if I've never seen this awesome game before. Right on. Well, we fell in love with this game when uh, we bumped into it a couple years ago at BGG. Um, when John and Sarah pitched it to us, we liked it right away. It was a completely different game then, uh, and so we started tweaking it. And the thing we knew is within about 10 minutes of playing this, we were in love with this abstract game. I'm not a huge abstract game fan. I like them, but um, I like a lot of theme in my games, as you can see from the stuff we've made in the past. This one was really exciting. So um, the idea is pretty straightforward. You are going to be putting down, uh, drawing tiles, laying those out with these different colors on them, and then you have birds that match those colors. You're going to be dropping those birds in <laughs> the green one with the hole in it. It's very important. you got to remember that. <laughs> um, trying to make lines of birds. That's the whole idea of the game. Uh, the more birds you get out, the, the more points you'll make. Uh, a couple of basic rules, which we can go over later, but it's a fairly straightforward abstract strategy game. Um, there's definitely a little bit of take that. You want to uh, block people off and take things before them, but it's really easy to learn, and it feels like something you probably grew up playing with but actually haven't. It's actually that great. That's what, one of the things we love about it. Um, and uh, uh, I can't wait for it to be out. I want people to play this and tell me how much they love it too, so we're excited. <laughs> I do. I, you know what? We were talking a little bit before, and today is Labor Day uh, yes, for the, our international viewers. And Labor Day is kind of the day that we celebrate not working, kind of relaxing. You know, I, I, here in America, we're constantly working, especially in the board game industry. You know, we're juggling tons and tons of products. And today is just kind of a day to slow down. And tonight's spotlight is a, different, a little different than some of the spotlights we've done in the past in that most of the times, like, one of us will come to the table and we have not yet had the opportunity to see the game. And I think all of us have gotten a chance to at least see the game a little bit this time. Absolutely. So with that uh, prior knowledge, I can definitely tell you that this is a really great kind of relaxing, slow puzzle game. I mean, it's still got that competitive edge to it. I can Just, picture it like, scratches your brain a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yep, <laughs> exactly, exactly. I could picture something maybe like, like you'd see the ladies, the, the Mahjong night. Like this is yeah. definitely like that competitive, but still fun and right. friendly and light kind of game. So I'm totally excited to go to uh, jump into it. Um, I'm really excited for the game to come out. Mm -hmm. Now, where is this game going to be available? everywhere um your friendly local game store is going to have it your uh, online uh sales places will have it um all that kind of good stuff basically if there's a place you buy games they have it or they can definitely get it for you if they don't have it so full distribution all the channels and everything like that so we're excited wonderful matt i'm ready to jump in well i just wanted to point out one more time justin you said that the uh the game it feels like something you might have played before and i definitely can oh. speak to that like after i looked at it the first few times it it feels familiar and it plays mm -hmm. very intuitively like yeah. the the rule set's like super easy to pick up before just because it it's got like a thing in the back of your head we're like yeah this makes sense you know mm -hmm. yeah so i, I just want to like go Othello kind of thing going on, but not quite, a little bit different than that. Yeah, yeah, it tickles, like you said, it tickles my brain in a way that I, we immediately had to get this one as soon as we saw it, so yeah. <laughs> I think the amusing thing for tonight's spotlight is I'm the least familiar with this game because you have both played with Justin, oh. and I have not played this yet. Did you beat Justin? Ooh. 
I did we have a full game, Justin? I don't I, think we played a full. Anne's the only one I played a full game with, I think. So yeah. <laughs> Justin beat me. I, I mean, tried real hard. She did. She did good. She did very good. <laughs> Maybe that was your downfall. Maybe, but that means look, if I'm okay with Justin beating me, but if you two beat me, that's where we have the problem. Right. I mean, understandable. All right, so Justin, let's jump into the meat and potatoes of things here, and I'm going to switch over to the board cam, and if you can, uh, can you give us a rundown of how to play Grackles? Totally. It's super easy. So the first thing you do is just exactly what you guys did. You grab the starting tiles, and those are the ones that have those little black triangles on the corner. Push them together, they make a square. Kaboom! That's how the board is started. Um, then everybody picks a color. Uh, there's four colors in the game, and I should back up and explain why this is called grackles and why we have crazy colors in the game. Grackles are a type of bird that are real common throughout a whole bunch of uh, America, South America, places like that. They're smaller than a crow. They're a slightly different species, but they're known for a couple of things. They're really loud. Um, they poop on cars, and we didn't put either of those things in the game. But what we did put is the fact that they love to line up on uh, uh, telephone lines, uh, basically any surface they can find. They will do this thing where they line up perfectly evenly spaced. It's really awesome. We're going to be posting some video of some stuff pretty soon here on our uh, social media about it. But um, the other thing that they're famous for is the males are really, really very pretty. They're black birds from a distance, but as soon as you get close, they get iridescent, which means you're going to see like purples and greens and uh, some uh, blacks and blues, almost like kind of oil slick color kind of thing. And that's where we got the colors for our tokens. And the idea of the birds on the power lines is where the lines come from. So there's the very light theme you get in our game. Now go put some pieces down and make some points is the idea. So, um, on your turn, you get um, one thing you can do, but there's four choices of what you can do with that. You essentially have one action. And look at that, our handy-dandy guide has shown up as if by magic. Um, you're, this is literally like, not quite the instruction book, that's an instruction sheet. This is our tile that teaches you how to play the game. You can draw a tile, and when you do, you put it down. It just has to go orthogonal to an existing tile somewhere on the board. Any um, rotation you want, though. Each tile has all four colors on it, but they are in different orientations. So sometimes you'll want to put a tile one way versus another way. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can build a line of birds, which means you're going to take one empty space of your color, put one of your birds on it, and then go all the way across to the next empty space of your color, as long as nobody's blocking it. You get all those spaces covered up. You take everything in between. Um, that's the, those are the two basic components of the rules. That's what's going to be the most. The other thing you can do is you can make a line longer. You can extend a line in the direction it's going, either from its head or from its tail, so to speak. Um, you can make it longer. What you can't do, though, is make a 90-degree turn. That's a turn. That's not extending the line. So you got to watch out for that. That is the one time you get to put down a token where one half of your new line is already covered. You go out to another of your color, and that's how you extend that. Uh, the last thing you do is rotate a tile. If it's empty and it doesn't have anybody else's bird tokens, or any bird tokens at all, I should say, you can rotate that tile. You spend one of your five rotate tokens, and then you can flip that tile around. Uh, the only thing you can't do is you can't do that to the starting tiles, and like I said, it has to be the one that's empty. You can't do it if it has uh, bird But that's literally the entire world. Like, Ooh, look, we're okay. <laughs> As if by magic. As if by magic. Uh, so, Justin, quick question for you here. When we're extending our line here, uh, say that you had... I'm going to put it like this. So, if green here was to have a line from here to here, Mm -hmm. And then later on, a tile popped up over here with another green in that same line. They would just mm -hmm. extend that, or does this need to? There need to be an adjacent green to build off of in that same direction. Nope, they can just extend it as long as there's a green that's like the target of where they're going. They can move out from that way. Perfect. Okay. Building your strategy in your head already. I just want to make sure that I've got the legal moves going. You know. That's right. He's playing it right. It's good. It's good. <clears throat> Make me nervous. Uh, so, Justin, is there a rule for first player? There is, actually. Um, gather one piece from every player, mix them up in your hand, drop one of them out randomly. That's our first player. Okay. Okay. So, if Matt goes first, you know he's cheating. Yes. Green. Ah, oh, it's me! Yeah, he's right, probably awesome. still cheating. <laughs> <clears throat> so the first player is going to have to draw a tile because you can't make a line with those tiles that are right there, obviously. There's no connecting dots. So first player does have to make a choice, but you also set the whole stage in motion. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Yeah, yeah. All exactly. the pressure. Mustache all twirling pressure. and all that. So here is our first tile. Mm -hmm. Black, blue, green, and purple in this orientation. We're always going to have mm -hmm. these four colors. They're always going to be in a different – or not always, but they'll be in different orientations. Yeah. I you can see that's already different from the two starting tiles. Exactly. Um, so I'm green, and I think that I want to place that one right there. Yes. Okay. 
So then it's going to pass to Josh. Pass to me? Yep. Mm -hmm. And Josh uh, has the choice of all four actions. He can go for stuff right I'm now. I'm just going to do yep. that mm -hmm. so Anne can't use those green to green connections. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a good plan. And we're <laughs> off so, to a good start, folks. So I left Matt with a very big <laughs> yeah, you did. opening. Yes. Thanks, buddy. How do you feel Matt about yourself right now? Um, yeah. That was good. Does the uh, phrase kingmaker mean anything to you? <laughs> I give this to Matt now, and then he gets nothing later. That's right. I don't know if that's what really works. Oh, no, he told me before he's going to let me win. That's good. Oh, I like it. <coughs> I like you to find this out. That's Thank good. you. The camera. Uh, so now it's your turn, Matthew. Oh, I just did. Oh, that's right. You're oh, that's what I did. Look I at all my sure. points. Aren't they beautiful? <sighs> They're the worst. Yeah, unfortunately, he has to draw another tile. Oh, right? <laughs> oh, shucks. Yep. No. Now, the other thing to remember is the board is um, floating in that it can only go five tiles by five tiles. So five that's up and five down. That's right. And you will use all the tiles in the game. Ah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's let's try that. There we go. All right, Joshua, it is your turn. I placed another yep. tile, and this time there's nowhere else for you to make a black line, so I think I'm safe. For now. Uh, uh, for you, now. You think you're safe. Yeah, that's what this game does to you. Yeah. Now, I there's mean, no blue player, so that is pretty good, actually. Yeah. One last. I yeah. could rotate the tile on you. But that doesn't. Is this what you're gonna? This is how you're gonna play this game? No, 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 no. <laughs> Say this. He's got a personal <laughs> vendetta against this. Is things I could Did do, I do something not wrong? what I'm going to do. <laughs> Did I do something right. cruel to you? Um. So Justin, if you want to give Josh any tips, feel free. No, thank you. Uh, I did see that a viewer in chat asked if Grackles will be available in Wales. Uh. That's a good question. Our international uh, supplier should have it. So the guys we use over in England and all that, they should have it. That's really going to be a question, honestly, for their local game store. Have they ordered it yet? And do they have it? But in terms of international distribution, all that stuff sailed and should be there. So my tentative answer is yes. Okay. <laughs> Inflection. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wait, slightly wiggly question mark? <laughs> we need so, a symbol for that for when you're not quite sure. I, I think I'm going to rotate this. Let's not. Go ahead, do it. Oh, can you only rotate in the ones in the same direction? No. You but no. It. No, you're rotating. You can, once you pick it up, you can put it down any facing you want. It does have to go back where you pick it up. I'm going to do that then. Oh, there's some barks. Apologies. So, thank you for rotating that because you're terrible. Yes, yes he is. Um, what did I do? So now I can... There, there's my token, by the way. That's right. That's right. You only get five of those. So. I think I'm going to pull a Josh. I'm pulling a Josh. Okay. And she's on the board. Oh, you're doing it to me. That's not nice. Uh -huh. I'm just going to extend that line there. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I'll just extend that one then. Yeah, you're, you're giving Matt the whole board across, guys. <laughs> I, don't, I know. You can't do much about it right now. It's okay. Do you yeah. feel good about yourself? Mine's longer than yours is. I hope you feel good about yourself, Joshua. So, Justin, what's the end game condition for this? What's going to happen is all 25 tiles are going to get played. So you guys are going to end up with a 5x5 five five grid. And then eventually everyone's going to have to pass because they won't be able to do one of those four actions. Uh, obviously, once the tiles are drawn, no more drawing. But people can still extend and rotate and things like that for a little while. Um, when everybody's passed, then it's done. We add up how many, uh, excuse me, how many birds made it out onto the board. Most birds is the winner. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to... Oh, it's, it's Josh's, Josh's turn. turn. That's right. He was just sitting there. He's oh, analysis it? paralysis. It's not me this time. <laughs> and analysis paralysis. It's called that for a reason. Exactly. You know. It's named oh, after it's, me. It's got two ends in it. I forgot. <laughs> you can't forget the second end. <laughs> <laughs> People do a lot, but they're wrong. <laughs> hmm. How long before we start playing the Jeopardy hmm. music? All right, it's breaking off to bold new worlds. Watch out. So now we've got one, two, three, four. So we can only go one or one so that we have right. five. Yep, yep. So you could end up with a very weird shape, but it will limit your, your layout. <laughs> okay. Starting to see why a group of crackles is an annoyance. Oh. oh. <laughs> 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 I'm going to do that there. Okay. And? When I was looking that up, I actually found a definition for a group of grackles is called a plague, but I like annoyance better. A plague? 
Yes, it's very dark. I know, right? They're not that gloomy. I'm gonna extend that line right there. Good. See, shot. and you got a nice one going. Yeah. I mean, it's not eight. No, True. it's not. Not it's everyone <laughs> could be as flamboyant as you. No, that's flamingos. It's a flamboyant of flamingos. All right, and you can extend that one more if you want. <laughs> Thanks so much. Ooh. Oh, you know. What? Nothing. Oh no. Oh no. All right, your turn. My turn. Okay. Oh, I see Troy's comment that Wales is not in England. Once again, proving I am a dumb American who does not know geography. <laughs> um, yes, but all our international shipments have gone out, so the same rule still applies. <laughs> if you have a store, they should have it. All, all the boats, all the boxes, they've all sailed and flown away. So <laughs> my fingers are crossed that you should be able to get one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have officially made it as uh, tall as it's going to be. Yes. Tall, yeah. Uh, tall. And, and Matt used his thing to screw me over. Yep. Rotate. You're welcome. Brando. Yeah, you guys went nuclear on that left hand side. So, well, for me, it's the left hand side, yeah. That, uh, that's rough. I see some rotation in your future on that tile. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There is a lot of what I like to call offering or deal making in this game. When you lay down a tile, you're sort of like, don't you think that's a good offer? Wouldn't you like to put some birds there while I put mine here? And then they have to decide <laughs> if it's worth taking or not. <laughs> All right. And that's your other five. So yep. So we've four. we've got our square now. Mm -hmm. I'll take that in. You jerk. Mm -hmm. Why'd you give that to him? Because he gave you eight. So. Your turn. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. Hmm. Left, hmm. Him, left him hanging. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. That works. You're happy with that? Yeah. I don't know why, but I am. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm not sure why, but all right, I like it. Yep, and take them on the back. All right, all right, very good. I think that Matt sometimes says things to kind of just throw you off your game. Like, it's he's good. like... He's like, oh, I'm happy with that. And you don't see anything obvious, and there really isn't anything, but it's just right. enough to throw you off. Beautiful. This is your game. <laughs> There's a lot of that. You're like, I didn't see that. Where was that? What's he talking about? Oh, what if I missed? And meanwhile, you're just planning like, yeah, I'll deal with it later. <laughs> <laughs> I'll figure it out as I go. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. That's how you should do it. Yeah. No, I wouldn't do that. Not at all. <laughs> oh, oh, the setup is coming. Oh, here we go. Mm. Yeah, this is where it starts to get interesting, because now you got to think about middles of spaces and edges of spaces. And if you were to move or put there, what's going to happen? And who's going next? That's always the big question. <laughs> hmm. Wink, wink, Josh. <laughs> Friend. <laughs> old buddy, old pal. <laughs> <laughs> you can... I mean, somebody's got to get their line of birds all the way across the board at some point, right? I mean, that's 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 something. <laughs> what are you doing in? No, 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 no! Oh. She has had enough of that. You know, no, you... Oh, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole lot of noises. You know, Josh, you could rotate it back, and then I can lock in one direction. I could. Band, you know. I could, oh! but I'm not. Oh, he's going big <laughs> on the outside. He's making a play for the far field. All right, very good. Oh, boy. You should probably rotate that and lock in the I purple. Just use all your rotate tokens. I don't want to use all my rotate tokens. You still have three more. You have more than that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it for you to deal with. And then I'll, if you deal, I'll set you up with something nice. If you deal with I don't think you can. You want to make a bet? You don't have a solid offer on the table. I could. <laughs> you I could, could possibly have a solid offer on Poss the table at possibly. some point in the near future? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Those, those sound like solid terms. If, if yeah, the, you totally if the tile works that. for him as well. Yes. <laughs> I'd buy a car from him. <laughs> this car runs nine yeah. out of ten times. It's got four wheels. It's all good. It's everything you need. <laughs> make it oh, happen. Oh, okay. I see. This is fun. I almost want to be a sportscaster for this kind of thing. Oh, we got an interesting play over here from Matt in the corner. Mm, let's see what's going on there. 
And then we cut to some like little chalk drawings of little lines and X's moving along. <laughs> Get all John Madden on it. Now, if he goes over here, he's going to end up Bam! Problem. They end up coming around this corner. Boom, it's all over. <laughs> I, um... Do it. Do it. I'm going to rotate. Yes. This what? <laughs> Why? You were so excited about that. Why? Why are you no longer excited about that? Why would you rotate that one? Why would you give him that? Why did you not rotate that one? But why did you rotate that one? <laughs> I don't get that. <laughs> what did you do? She wants she wants the four long green, but she doesn't realize that you're just going to connect those three purple. Uh, and block her green. So, yeah, I don't know why she did that. Thanks, Josh. I hate you. That was an obvious move of what he was going to do. No, I didn't see it. <laughs> That's half, see half it. this game is seeing what somebody else is thinking <laughs> and thinking if you can pull it off before then. That's the other trick. Why, Ann? Why? Why didn't you rotate that away from him? Now he's got Why didn't win. you rotate it away from him? <laughs> Guys could have just left it and you would have had one more rotate it. Is someone like shooting fireworks off? I think so. Is Labor Day a fireworks day? No. <laughs> If you have fireworks, it's a fireworks day. True. Every day is a fireworks day if you have them. <laughs> if you have fireworks. <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't do it. And don't do it. Hey, Anne, I'll give that to you. Just drop it in. Oh, just like that. <laughs> it's open for you, Ann. You still got your five there, too. Kingmaker, kingmaker, make me a king. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's fine. I'll do. I'll do that. You can do that. Like that. No, you should do it the other way. You didn't want to do it the other way? Like this? Yeah, okay. I'll do it that way. I'll throw you a bone. Might as well take it in. Because that middle one's not going anywhere because no one can rotate anything. Jerk. <laughs> Alright. Josh. It's all you, buddy. <laughs> Whoa! That was very aggressive tile. He grabbing. likes to draw you like cards, like he's in Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> if you haven't noticed. We were talking Slamming about. The tail. <laughs> we were talking about that last night. Apparently, there's a meme, and I don't get it. It's what is it? White dragon with blue, blue eyes, white dragon. dragon. Yeah, that thing. Yeah. And Michael got it. My son, my oldest son, got it, and John, I had no idea. And Josh and. Michael, we're... I like it. You said Michael and my oldest son, who is also Michael. No, no, that's you. Let's talk about Moco. No, no, you. <laughs> Josh was playing um, Jackbox the other day, and Michael's like, oh, I want to play. So he gets on, and he put in his name Moco. So when my son was very little... Don't destroy all the tiles, Josh. He didn't know how to spell Michael. Right. So, like, preschool. And he would spell Moco. And my sister and I got the biggest kick out of it, because we were like, he got the first letter, and then I don't know where he went <laughs> after that. Yeah. <laughs> so... Close he's enough. like, <laughs> so he pops into Jackbox and he picks his own name and he's not showing me. And then I see Moco pop up and I lost it because I like, uh, he was in with, he played with like a, there was like a group of five or six of us mm -hmm. from the stream and he beat two out of the, uh, beat everybody on two out of the four games. Nice. Well, so well, I won't well. be playing games with my son anymore. <laughs> right. That's it. It's over now. Yeah. <laughs> he's had a shot. He wants. <laughs> Your turn, Anne. Uh -uh. I always look back fondly on the first game of Pente I ever played with Amory where I taught her how to play, and then she destroyed me ever since. I've never won a game of Pente against her since then. So, yeah, I remember that first game. Those was a good time. That was a good time. It's, it's good times. Good times. Josh is trying to set up that giant line. Yes. He has multiple setups going on that you guys are going to have to stop. I'm just saying. <laughs> I was trying to convince Anne of that, but she didn't want to before. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have anything set up. I know. He really has nothing. It's all a bluff. Don't worry. There's a lot of that in this game, too. I mean, because in theory, you could cut some things apart before they happen, but... Matt has a lot more setup than I do. Yes, this is true. I do? And you have nothing. <laughs> uh, you have right here. You have right there. You have that open up a purple and open purple right Oh, I there. didn't see that. Cool, you thanks. You have a ton of stuff open. I didn't see uh -huh. it. 
And there's still that them. last row to build, too, so we'll see what you guys can do with that. Come on in. Come on in. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah, I'll give that to you, Ant. <sighs> see, it's, like, it's after you lay it down that you see it. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is almost what I want to subtitle the game. Is, ah, that sound you make when you realize you just gave someone a bunch of points. Yes. Can, can we switch up, Ant, and have you sit on my right-hand side? Hmm. <laughs> 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 Oh, I was boy. so worried about putting anything here. Right, right. So exactly, worried. Because that's really scary right there. <laughs> so worried. Although it's not as scary anymore. Hmm. I'm lost now. <laughs> lost in space? Yeah. That actually was a good play uh, when Josh did that, because it completely changed the middle of that board. You guys are kind of starting over. Yeah. He's a jerk. We were all thinking it. It's fine. <laughs> right, right. So let me ask you guys: at this point in the game, wh is it what's it reminding you of more than anything else? Would you say? I think it's got the feel of chess, where you constantly have to be moving a couple. You've got to be thinking a couple of spots ahead. Mm -hmm. but hopefully, not the, as many complicated rules. Right. 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 Without <laughs> as many complicated pieces, but it's got that that strategy. Right. To it, but the tokens always remind me of checkers, and maybe that's where like that. Thanks, Ant. I couldn't have blocked that. Yes, you could have. How? There's a green to green right there. Oh, if you'd gone for the two, you could have taken away his four. Yeah. Yep. It's okay. Ant's not as like cutthroat like that though. She's not willing to go in and just cut you off for two points. She wants the big points. Well, but she went to go take the points in the side that would have been there later. I was talking to her and distracting That's her. That's true. You we'll get over that. Take do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am trying to do some setups. They're just getting trounced on. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Ooh. It's not okay. <laughs> There's nothing okay about this. Yeah. Hmm. So, and you can take your free points in the middle of the board. Or yeah, you can I'm put looking. A tile down. I'm trying to avoid putting tiles in down in between you two. <laughs> yes, yes. Honestly, I'm trying to avoid oh. putting tiles down. Don't worry, and you haven't given me any points yet. <laughs> Was that a green at the edge there that she put down? The where she started? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I was looking at something. Yeah, yeah there's a, a green there and a green. There, there. we go. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Because I was going to say, that's one of those instances that almost looks like a turn on the board, but it's yes. not. That's a legal play because it's green to green. So for all those playing along at home. <laughs> for those playing the home game. Yeah. <laughs> See, now I avoid putting the tile down and causing more trouble. Yes, and now you can yell at Matt if it all goes bad. Yeah, that's true. She will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> you can count on it. Later in today's show, and yells at Matt. Yep. We'll record it. Don't worry. <laughs> There'll be video evidence. <laughs> There's this great picture of Matt and I from Gen Con. Last year. Last year. And I am giving Matt like the best eye roll. I don't know. I, it doesn't matter what he was talking about. I don't even remember. But my expression in this picture is priceless. Yeah, it was pretty solid. So he put down a thing, and Troy's he's Troy's asking black. how many combinations there are in the game. How many combinations? Yeah, I'm um, not sure what. I th if he's talking tiles, um, there are technically six different orientations of tiles. Um, they're not all evenly distributed, though, because we wanted the board to be five by five, and that doesn't work with the patterns we had. So I, I think it's uh, – there's one – there's – what is it? Four of most of them, but three of one. I forget how it works now. I'd have to go back and look at the map. Uh, the math, rather. Um, but yeah, I believe it's uh, six unique patterns of tiles in terms of the uh, the four color combinations, how we can arrange them. 
So what, when you were, when you guys, I mean, you, the game had been designed before it was brought to you as a publisher, but I'm sure, sure you may have done some, or I, I assume you've done some development work on it. What was the most interesting thing with this game that you needed to do development work on? Um, let's see. Uh, part of it was finding a theme. The original game was essentially um, just sort of laying out these little barricades, uh, and it was very, very abstract, these, these beads. Um, it was it was nice, but it honestly it just needed a little bit of something. Otherwise, it felt really abstract. Um, that was kind of fun coming up with a good theme that made a little bit of sense and gave us our fun colors too. But uh, actually, one of the development things we found that was interesting is in the original version of the game, there was no limit to the number of times you could rotate something, and oh. that led to some really tricky situations where people would get into like fights over it. So we brought in the idea of limiting it to just your five tokens, which makes them like worth gold. And that makes you sense. Figure out when you want to flip stuff. So that was one of the biggest ones there. Yeah, you sure that's what you want to do? Oh. Nope. I don't know if this is what I want to do. If I put this here, it'll give Matt four, and it'll give you two. But then I won't be able to get my green. If you put it back the way it was, then Josh can't get anything. If I put it here. <laughs> Then I can get that. And I'm going to give you this tidbit. It doesn't matter how you put it because there's a 4x4 four four that's going to block it right now of my black that I'm going to put down next turn. Yep, his vertical. Up my vertical down. will cross through whatever you want to put there. What? Oh, there? <laughs> yes. Or you can just throw the board across. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sure. You just destroy the board. So, it, it, <laughs> so right now I have a 4x4 four four that will be going across what you're just trying to plan out. So I'm going to be nice and now, let you know about this. Yes, so if you want to rotate something different. <laughs> if you want to rotate something different. Oh, what else could I? Oh, I guess then you're, you're telling me is please rotate this this way. Or you can rotate that other piece. Either or. It, 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 that is up to you. I'm going to fix the board That's now. That's not going to help you. That's just helping Matt. Okay, so then which one helps me? Not that one. You want to make sure his black dots don't line up. So yeah. Yes. Um, that one you could do that, and that doesn't help me. Yep, and that's better for you. It gets you at least those three. Yeah. All right. Well, look, uh, I have successfully destroyed, destroyed the, the board. board. Yeah. Good. I Good. mean, who that's needs Lucy when you've got me? It's a human cat. <laughs> it's really hard to do left-handed. All right, Josh, it's your turn. All right, I can't leave that around. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I, I can I can leave you with the three. That's fine. I can't leave Matt with that five. So I'm using this. Oh, look, he's finally put out a rotate token. That's my second one I've used. <laughs> oh, see, he's working his way through it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Now it's a question of what offer to make, right? Who, yeah. who, who helps I guess, and who gets hurt by this? I'm giving Matt something no matter what. You could lay a tile. That doesn't help the situation at all. I was just listing your options. Look, draw and place a tile. Very first option. Someone in chat's asking what's on the back of the cards. Yep. There we go. It's the empty phone line. It's basically the art from the cover uh, with uh, um, out the birds on it and without the lightning effect we did where we, we highlight, we uh, lightened the picture. No, yeah, no diagonal right. lines. Yep. Orthogonal. That would give him a three. That would give him a four. <laughs> He's literally like piecing out the exact <laughs> amount of points that are going to go. That would let me get two, though. These two are very competitive. Yeah, that's, that's what you get, Matt. Mm. Rotate it back. <laughs> Ooh, it is a rotate war. Here we go, kid. <laughs> Which way? Uh, purple, purple in the bottom, in the bottom left, left corner. This way? Bottom left. Nope. You are closest to you. This way? Yes. Bottom left in our orientation. Oh, okay, that's what you meant. Yeah, sorry. And you're going to take your uh, three green? <laughs> yes, chat is correct. They are not crows or corvids, so to speak. They are not in the same family. They are closer related to magpies, which anyone from Australia will tell you are terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Um, What's the deal with magpies again? They are 
basically man eaters. <laughs> they will attack anybody. They are <laughs> crazy, vicious animals. Now, brackles aren't that aggressive, although they will steal your food. If you leave out chips and salsa here in Austin, it's gone. They will literally run away. <laughs> one of my favorite things is when I was doing research on them, I found that, um, that one of the current nicknames for them is Taco Raptors, which I absolutely adore. Taco Raptors. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and I, I can see it. They will eat your food. You cannot leave your... your Breakfast tacos unattended or anything like that. Justin, I feel like you had a missed opportunity of the name of the game. Taco I Raptors. Like another game called Taco Raptors. If I bought a game called Taco Raptors and this was it, I would be very disappointed. It has neither Taco Raptors. I, I want to make a game now that has some kind of tacos and raptors. And I don't know if they're dinosaurs that are trying to get tacos or is it just birds? Right? I don't know. I'm, I'm, this is what I'm working on. The theme is very important to me in that one. Yeah. Uh, Matt, how many rotate tokens do you have? Uh, 18. <laughs> he got the expansion pack. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it's not supposed to be that many. <laughs> Combine both sets for twice the agony. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. And what did you do? Don't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even get any words out. <laughs> <laughs> Things that you must line up. Oh my oh, god. <laughs> right, there you go. That is your cheese. Just lay a new tile, Josh. <laughs> I'm serious. What did you do? This is good. I like when he's confused. <laughs> do we have to tell him, Justin? We don't have to tell him, right? <laughs> uh, that, that's house rules there. That okay. I was, I was talking with Justin, our guest. I know, he was being like, a good host. I like how he qualifies Justin as our guest, so right. that it makes him seem like polite. A good host, yeah. <laughs> yeah he, was, he was just doing his job, guys, really. I was only doing my job, and now you're not telling me things. Go ahead, Josh. It's your turn. <laughs> your options. Did you use a rotate token? What? <laughs> you should be able to count how many she has, right? How many rotate tokens do you have? 18? Because I do. <laughs> <laughs> She's just photocopying them while you're not looking, making more. <laughs> you may see one of my I'll butt I'll just go up for the second copy Justin gave us for a giveaway. I'll just start right. using those. Exactly. I'm going to rotate everything. <laughs> you get a rotate. You get a rotate. Everybody yeah. gets a rotate. Josh is colorblind. He's going to be like, I'm sorry. I thought they were all the same color. Yep. Quick, Josh, yeah. review the footage. <laughs> No, seriously, what did you do? Because I don't see any difference on the freaking board. Well, then it didn't did matter, you? did it? <laughs> did you use your photographic memory to compare? Phonographic. phonographic. There was no more place. The only place for you to put something down was the three spot there. How many tiles are left in that stack? There better be two. <laughs> yeah, there's two. So I was like, oh, I think I go talk to my manufacturer. <laughs> Justin's like... Carry the too. one! <laughs> right. But, um, <laughs> there's no new spots down. <laughs> so I really have no idea what's going on. Oh. Right? And your your whole thing at the top is all muddled up still. You're not getting much love there, so. He's just being a jerk. <laughs> He's just going to take it out of the game. I'm just <laughs> rotating it again. No fair crossing it off and changing the color for the Sharpie or anything. That's not allowed. <laughs> what do you mean there weren't two black circles on this right. card? Of course there were. This card has all four black circles? What? Is that better for you, Matt? Ooh. Yeah, I'll take that. That's fine. Oh, no. That was really salty of you. <laughs> I still don't know what you did. <laughs> I really don't know. That feels better. Thanks, Josh. I finally got some grackles on the board. Does that feel better for you emotionally? I haven't put grackles on the board in a while. It has visited. Have well, I mean, you did almost go completely across the board. I think that turned them off a little later. Yeah. yeah. We were just about done with you at that point. Yeah, then that, that's when you decided to go into cahoots with Josh, right? <laughs> no, that was totally that. accidental. That's <laughs> just because I'm not so good at that. <laughs> <laughs> I think Josh got uh, disturbed by the fact that I had 18 rotating tokens left. <laughs> Minor detail. Where are you placing it, Josh? What are you buying? 
buying? Nothing. Yeah. You guys aren't going to let me keep that. Nope. <laughs> Matt might let me keep that. Nope. <laughs> 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 you know what it is. Broccoli, what's going on? Oh, yes. I see what you did there. Oh. Mm. I gave you an offer, Matt. An offer you can't refuse. I mean, I can refuse it. I can easily refuse it. I'm okay with that. I'll take that. <clears throat> Acceptable. All right, Ann, you gotta put the last dial down. She doesn't oh, have to. Can, she could oh, rotate. She, yep, yep, she, she can, she can, can pass that on the map. Ooh. I forgot. There was an extent there. For me. <clears throat> All right. Your turn there, J-Bear. <laughs> this was the wrong move. Yep. <laughs> sure was. This was the wrong move. Did you make a poor life choice? I chose poorly. <laughs> I chose poorly. This, this is true. No, actually, I'm not doing too bad. We have to see what it's all. I should have. I should have. This is the part of the show where down. Josh goes into explaining how he would have won if only. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I didn't think you put it that way. Right. I guess I could have gave myself. Maybe. An additional I mean, one. Uh, not. Mm, it all depends what Matt does, yeah. Hmm. This is interesting. I'm going to play a rotate token. Okay. Oh, that's oh. what you can... Oh! Ah, okay. Huh. <laughs> I didn't think that's where you were going. Sneaky pie. Hi, Anne. Oh, dear. I mean, if... <laughs> I didn't want to give Anna all the way across the board one. You if I can't have. have it, no one can have it. <laughs> you should have. She'll be so close, though. So close. I don't so know if anything can do much better than that, honestly. Yeah, that's... Because that one's locked down, so yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Take it, Am. Do it. Do it. But what if I rotate it back? I won't touch it again. Are you trying to give Josh less? Because that's the best you're going to get. 402 tiles. This is part of the show. I'm not in your head. I don't know what you're doing. But if I rotate it back, oh, Josh will take the two blocks. Yeah, he'll block you off. Yeah. Because he's a jerk. <laughs> well, um, there's that. There's that. Also, it's an awesome play for him, so yeah. Yep, saw that coming. I don't think I could do anything. Um, nope, that's a blue. You're in the wrong angle. Yeah, I think Matt's done. Yep, no that's it for me. That I can see. Now, um, Anne can put at least one more down. Yeah, the top right. Oh, hey. Look at that. Look at that. But Josh has multiple to do. Yeah. There we go. Okay. All right. I believe that is it. Nobody can rotate tiles. Nobody can rotate. No more birds. So you add it up, and I think I think Josh came out pretty good on that one. Yep. Can we not? Have so Josh what's the what's the scoring on this? Just whoever placed the most grackles? Yeah, yeah. Just add up your your grackles on the board, and whoever has the most. Uh, yep. So new guy who hadn't played before did pretty good. <laughs> no comment. Beginner's luck. There we go. That's what I'm chalking it up to. Yes. Right. You know, Josh, I would have yeah. won if only. If only. <laughs> <laughs> if only. Okay. So how many did everyone get on the board? I Whoa. Well, I've broken the board, so you're welcome. I got what I got, and I'm not too happy with it, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, really? I couldn't how tell many, by the tone of your voice. How many grackles does everyone start with? Uh, that's a good question. They should start with 45. Um, and yes, your commenter is right. In theory, counting your leftovers 
uh, fewest stacks is probably easier math, as long as you haven't lost any. This is a problem we had at conventions. People would keep disappearing and running off with our cute little tokens, and then someone would have not quite the right amount, and our numbers were wrong. But yes, you know you started with the right amount. That's a simpler way to do that. Five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. And it very good here. Fifteen. Yeah. Thirty-one. It's a lot more than me. I got eighteen. Eighteen. Yep. That mm. one big bright purple line across the whole that game board. That was basically board all my points. Makes me. F it made me feel the whole time like you were. I think bright. that. The, it's yeah. scary. <laughs> There's a psychological game going on here. Every time you play this. There's a uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, Josh, how many did you have? I have 38. That's it? Whose phone is ringing? It's mine. Oh. Yeah, it's just it. Okay. 30, he got 38? Yep. And I got 31? Yeah. He didn't win by a whole lot. No. That was that was pretty tight, actually. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. I've seen down really close on this, too. That was pretty good. I want to play again. You play again? Let's play, play again. again. Okay. I like that idea. Are you gonna have to, I can't. Josh could do it with a little stubby T-Rex on This is how Josh lives his life. Like, now I understand. <laughs> now I understand. He's got no extension. The common, uh, what it's like trying to live your life. Uh, I've got one starting got piece one here. one starting piece over here. That means we've got both of them. Look at that. Yay! Woo-woo. How'd you guys get to be so good at this? You know. Just I want to make some commentary in the middle here. You know, we talk a lot about the fact that Josh is colorblind. And... I really liked, you know, speaking for Josh, because I'm going to do that. Uh, he does it for you so often. He does. We have a female. <laughs> Come on, Josh. Use your taco raptor arms. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's what it's going to be now. You can't shuffle anything. So just sitting here like... <laughs> Old in the tiles? Not even moving them? Like, the <laughs> Give the tiles a good wiggle, will you? In the tiles, what was really cool is that, you know... The game is about the really pretty colors of the grackles, which are very cool, like that oil slick colors. But to kind of compensate for, or to make this game more accessible for people that are colorblind, you have different patterns of outline for the various colors. So you have the full circle, the quadrants, the I'm not going to guess how many there are here, and then the even more of them here. <laughs> <laughs> is that the technical term? Yes. Yes, yes. yes, exactly. So I thought yeah, that. We have had a few people say that the actual colors of the birds give them a little bit of trouble, which is a bummer. But um, we want to make sure the cards were good that way. So, yeah, it's, uh, you know, you win some, you lose some. We, we try every time to get a little bit better. <laughs> right. So. Um, the blue and the purple are a little close mm -hmm. for me. Okay. Um, I wish the purple birds themselves were darker like the board. Right. Because on the board, the, the two colors on the board are perfect. Yes. The, and that was the, what we worked really hard at. But this is, you know, so. we're playing a three-player game, and it's easy enough for you. There are three colors here that Josh can eat. He, he said, like, we're going to play with these three colors because I have no problem with this at all. Good, good, yeah. But the other one is a little bit tricky. And that's the irony is the first print run that we did, the first testing, we used the purple for the birds, and they were so dull and ugly. And it was uh. one of those things where as soon as we opened the test box, we're like, this looks like something went wrong with our printing. Um, they're great on the on the cardboard, but the plastic just it, it sucked up the light. So we ended up changing it, and unfortunately, I think we may have pushed it a little back into the problem area for colorblind. So you know, like I said, we learn a little, and then we make a mistake, and then we learn some more. So win some, lose some. So mm -hmm. Anne is first player. Okay, and the first thing I have to do is draw a top. Uh, Matt, would you like to change the turn order so you play after Anne? Would you, would you uh, prefer that? Thank you. And see see if it's just Anne letting. Uh, no, I I that's whatever you want to do. I don't. I, doesn't matter to That's me either fine way. Okay. So you can go down. Okay. No, oh, I'm just gonna take the low hanging fruit. All right. So Joshua, it's your turn. All right. You took that, so I can't mm -hmm. take that away from Anne. If you would continue to clink those together in a nervous fashion, I would really appreciate that. Um, <laughs> you sure? They are no. fun to clink. <laughs> Very I I am a fidget person i he is the embodiment of a fidget spinner <laughs> nice. Nice. look at you Anne. that's awesome Hi. look at me almost look like i know what i'm doing almost right almost. i haven't even knocked <laughs> i haven't even knocked a tile yet <laughs> hmm go here
Your turn, Josh. Yeah. That's his thinking face. It's like he sucked on a lemon. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I knew he was going to be salty talking. It's so salty. Uh, and it's your turn. No, you already wrote. No, you took your finger off of it. That's it's, it. It's, it's chest rolls. You're done. There you go, man. Hmm. 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 Feed me, Seymour. Feed me. You could rotate the left one. Rotate this one here. The match is going to block you in the middle. I won't block you. I promise. That's a lie. He's going to block you. In the middle. <laughs> That's a lie. Remember, every point for Josh is a point for the enemy. <laughs> you're not with us, you're against us. Exactly. <laughs> you're not going to take the th the three green there. You're going to put a new tile down. Interesting. Oh, you know what you can do, Anne? If you put, if you put the wait. Oh, oh, never mind. Okay. 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 So it's my turn. Now. It will yeah. be your turn. My turn. Hmm. Sure, why not? <laughs> wow, and there's our five. Look at that. <laughs> you yeah, need we, to fix the, that. On the screen, I mean, we can't see the last time. Yeah, let me the, uh, rotate the time. board around. No, it's fine, Anne. I got the, the camera. At least I thought I had the camera. Where'd it's the fine. thing go? I don't know what you're oh. doing with that. Oh, here it you is. You're remote control the camera? <laughs> Whoa, look at that. We live <laughs> in the future. <laughs> Welcome to the 21st century. All that technology. <laughs> So, Josh? Yeah. What's up, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> it is your turn, you know. I know that. Okay. Oh, uh -huh. Just deciding how uh, I want to spend this turn. Do I want to take points away from you? Do I want to take points away from Anne? Just get yourself points. I can get myself points. There's a, a magnitude of things I can do. There is. Magnitude. magnitude. Not only did he use a word that has more than three letters <laughs> in it, but it he said it correctly. And he used it correctly. <laughs> very impressed with it. Magnitude to be or multitude? I don't think it was used correctly. I feel like magnitude is the size of one thing. Multitude is multiple. Now everybody wants to take control of the camera. Yes, that would be hilarious. Let's see what's going on behind you all. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It is your turn, Josh. Oh, it, yeah, I don't think you realize. Did you know it was your turn? Yeah. Yes, remember the multitude. <laughs> the multitude. Yep. Like, for example, the magnitude of time that he's taking yeah. for his Whatever. turn. That's accurate. Happy birthday, Ant. Thanks. Wow, look Happy at that. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday Congratulations. to me. Thanks. All Thanks. the way across the board. So much. Can you feel the hatred and salt radiating from yeah. this direction? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, when Raptors take <laughs> tortilla chips, they're usually very, very salty. <laughs> it only lost me out on one point. I'm not too oh, mad about that. I forgot you both can extend, but whatever. Yeah, we both can. Yeah. Both of us. <laughs> so much. <laughs> I just that is a it. whole lot of middle of the board that just got ugly, so yeah. <laughs> All right, now you all have to start making some decisions. What are you going to do now? And look at how many grackles you and I have on the board. And just go play your three grackles there. I feel, <laughs> I feel like that's not the right move to make because you're telling me so emphatically <laughs> to do that. If he really wants to do it, you should totally run away. <laughs> I should definitely right not do that because that's what... Uh, I don't know if I want to do that either. What's the worst you can possibly have? Interesting. I think I think I'm okay with this. You thought wrong. Emotionally. <laughs> sure, that's what you want to do. I, th I think so. I think. I mean, I'm at. I think. I don't know if I've said that enough times. I definitely don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. you Your turn, Josh. Mistake. <laughs> oh, and it's going 
kill. Look at this. That she was sucking you guys in with that first game. Yeah. She's all like, "Oh no, I lost. Oh, that's terrible." <laughs> Let's put some money on this. <laughs> Let's make this real interesting, guys. That sounds like Anne to me. <laughs> right, right. People don't know this. She had a former life as a pool shark. She actually went by a totally different name, had to change cities and everything. It's all, yeah. It's all good. That's a lot of paperwork. It is. It is. But, you know. It's you worth know, it. You, when you, you bust a crime boss wrong, you got to take the hits. It's, uh, it's hard. <laughs> Moving on the run like that. That's why I'm in South Florida. That's what you do, right? You retire totally. to South Florida? Yeah. Yeah, you run yeah. away from the mob and go to South Florida. <laughs> of course. It's your turn, Josh. <laughs> yeah. Anne's after me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are we doing turn order? Can we uh, can we put that in chat? I think that we should put that next to our names as turn order. We Did you see that. what I thought was cool? So around our names is the color pieces that each of us oh, are playing on the board. I didn't even see that. That's very clever. I, thought nice. that that was pretty... I came up with that all by myself. <laughs> sure. That is fantastic, yes. Remember that time Josh ate an entire <laughs> orange <laughs> <party? laughs> and you fixed his bathroom sink? Yeah, I do actually. It was like it was yesterday. Josh bought an Oreo party pack, and I was like, who eats an entire party pack of Oreos? Also, right. he has a kitchen sink that's been broken for a while, a bathroom sink that's been broken for a while. Okay. So it's he not, and... It's just not functioning no, That's what broken <laughs> means. <laughs> properly. But it like it's still, the general that... this works. The hot water didn't work. Okay. That's not, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't, like, broken. It was just... It's not like it doesn't, like, hold water, right? It's not leaking or anything. It's yeah. Just... Okay, because you know, my if, first thought was, first off, what's an Oreo party pack? I don't think we have those in Texas, ironically. It's, instead of three rows, it's four Which rows. Which actually kind of surprises me because, you know, everything's bigger in Texas uh, that you guys yeah. don't have, the party pack yeah. size. I kind of need that because Oreos are sort of my thing. But I mean, at first <laughs> I was thinking that I didn't quite catch the, the flow of the story, so I was afraid that because you bought the Oreo party pack, that's what broke your sink. And I'm concerned that something went terribly wrong in that <laughs> process somewhere. But now I understand it's just a hot water machine. That's, that's not so bad. There's so many great stories I have going in my head where that yes. could have like happened. Right. I, I mean, just I've, I've been to some weird parties. I've seen some strange <laughs> stuff, and I could put that together. I don't want to, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> he and Matt shared this party pack, and then the same weekend or so, you may have actually fixed the sink. Yeah. But he gets really salty, so we say that Matt fixed the sink, and he sat there with his Oreo <laughs> party pack just watching and watched and watched. That's Matt. what really happened. We all know. Yeah. <sighs> I like that they don't go with family size, they go with party pack. Because it's like, no, there's a family like, size too. Oh, is this? Yeah, but yeah. they're different. That's the whole thing. Like, yeah. A family, this is acceptable. If you've got this many, you better be having a party or you have a problem. <laughs> party, <laughs> party of party one. Two. Oh, okay. Zach, party of two, sitting down eating cereals. You don't want to extend your line? By one? Hmm? And you know what you could do? Yeah. You can screw over Josh by drawing a tile and putting a purple one over here, so I build my row across where he wants to extend. Could do. That. <laughs> it's up to you. And then it locks in the tile for you to do your extension of one. It's are we still... all back at the point that you guys are really that your selling point right now is and do all of this work so you can get one <laughs> point? Like one. I taught you nothing about negotiation because y'all aren't doing such a good job. I mean, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Not for one point. That's okay. not. That's like a tickle. And I gave you more points anyway. I gave you that whole row. You gave her one extra point. By doing that. Excuse move. me. As a feminist, I got that row myself. Thank you very <laughs> much. You didn't oh, give yeah. me nothing. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't need you to mansplain nothing to me. Thank you. So what are you going to do now? The board uh, is yours. If I do that, he's going to be a jerk. <laughs> be a jerk to him first. Proactively be a jerk to him. Right. It's the key, really. Pre-jerkification. That's, that's, that's the way to go. I'm going to... <clears throat> oh. 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 If I rotate it, then he gets one point. Oh, and you get two. And I get two. Yeah. That is an offer. An offer he could refuse, but an offer. Nonetheless. <clears throat> if I go that way... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe I just lay a tile and see what happens. Cause sure. my little one point's not gonna get messed up. Could unless you rotate it. 
Maybe I will. I don't know if I love it enough for you to care. Okay. Yeah, I think someone's doing fireworks today. Sure that's what you want to do it? I th think so. think so. Sure that's what you want to do, Anne? I think that's what I want to do. Right. Matt, your turn. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be It'll fine, be guys. It'll be fine. Hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? I'm looking up to see. You do have grackles in Florida, but oh, you no, don't not no, you can leave that. You took the hand finger off. The hand finger you off? You took your hand finger off. No, I'm not going to do that. You already did it. Yeah, Josh but you was like, already thinking his turn. But Josh already did that once before, so I get a redo also. <laughs> It'll be fine. What? You know what I'm going to do? What are you going to do? I wish I knew. <laughs> I was I asking you if, I'm asking <laughs> if <laughs> you knew what I was going to do. You were going to put that tile back just the way you had it. Just the way it was. I'll go there. What is that there going to do? I don't know. We'll see. That's your five, too. I made a box. <laughs> Playing the game with foot fingers, not recommended. Yeah, I'll take that. <sighs> nice. Coming in strong in the brand new freshly laid tile. Oh. You feel good about yourself? Yeah. On the inside? Mm-hmm. What about the outside? No. <laughs> A lot of self-loathing there. Yeah. There's too many Oreos went into that. Mm, I don't know if there's such things too many. Okay, no, if you're going to bring up Oreos, though, have you guys tried some of the new flavors they have out? And I'm really hesitant to try the flavored Oreos because I had the watermelon Oreos when they first came out, and those are gross. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm a little torn. There's a, I was a big fan, and I actually got into a thing with a local uh, gaming group about it. That my argument was that the Reese's peanut butter Oreos were the greatest thing man has ever invented, I and think... their argument was the regular peanut butter were better. No, the the Reese's ones were better. Thank you. Thank but you. they're like a limited. They don't make them anymore, do they? Just like the I peanut know. butter ones now. They were so good. I was I was a huge fan. They haven't come back. I keep looking. I will say they're doing like a rocky road one now. That's pretty. That interesting. looks interesting. I, kind of I mean the peanut butter bat the peanut butter ones aren't bad. They're still really good. They're really just good. Not as good as the Reese's one ones. Thank you. I feel redeemed. <laughs> I, Reese's I, are Reese's. Reese's are, yes. are your favorite. It's not Reese's. Reese's. It's Reese's. It, it's Reese's. No, it's Reese's. How do Only you if it's followed with pieces? How do you pronounce the person's name is Reese. The picture. And if it's a possessive, it's Reese's. That moves on a computer screen. Screensaver. What? I didn't hear your question. How do you, you what do you, how do you pronounce the word for the computer pictures that move? Oh, you mean a GIF? I'm gonna punch you oh, in the yeah. throat. <laughs> it is like not peanut butter. butter. It's with a G. It's GIF. Yeah. Yeah. GIF. And the guy's wrong. Yeah. God created it. He can name whatever he wants. What are you doing with your grass? Can we please put? I'm can you can you pyramid. move? The, you need to pan over to that. Like what there's two kinds of people. Oh my gosh. Oh look at that! <laughs> look at this. That is beautiful. <laughs> the and what do you guys have? What, you guys have? what is this chaos you do? <laughs> yeah, we just have these obnoxious piles. Uh, Matt, autofocus is off, so it, you, you're just gonna have to kind of try to get back where it was. Oh boy! Or, or go to OBS and fix it because. Okay, I might have to do that. Um, technology. <laughs> Woo, technology. Uh, Josh, it is still your turn, though. FYI. No, no I just I went. Just it's went. Anne's turn. Oh. Oh, you just went? No, I, I went and played a tile. Josh, how do Neither I do of this? you are paying attention. Yeah. Uh, go to configure video and then the. Okay, that's second fine. Tab. Start talking about Oreos and everything just goes to hell. <laughs> Keep on hitting it. See what happens. And it's your turn. It's there your turn. Oh, I already cool. went. Yes. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> I can't even what, tell. What'd you do? What'd you do? What did you do that turn? <laughs> I rotated she the rotated tile. You rotated this tile right here. <laughs> oh, the one at the bottom of the board that no one cared about at the yeah, moment? Yeah, exactly. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Don't judge that's her. How, <laughs> that's good. how much I didn't care about that tile. <laughs> it's not very nice, Joshua. <laughs> it wasn't for you. 
your turn, Josh. Do you want to know what Matt did? He put four grackles I right here. Did you? I just? Yep, yep I did. Wait. <laughs> Thank there you for destroying my wall, Matt. You're welcome. Where's <laughs> the wall yes. to keep the grackles out? <laughs> <laughs> grackles fly. What are you going to do with the wall? They actually sit on telephone <laughs> wires. Like, that's the whole point of this game. And you built a fence. <laughs> <laughs> sit on your fence and watch you eat tacos. They're not going to get past me. That's right. Although I just looked it up on uh, um, what site am I on? Some bird site. I'm on allaboutbirds.org. And it turns out, while you all do have grackles in Florida, yeah. and you don't have the same kind we do, you have the common grackle. We have what's called the great-tailed grackle. Oh. So yours aren't quite the same color as ours. Yours will have a lot more green in them than ours. But that's okay. Mr. Fancy Schmancy with his Fancy super grackles. grackles. Super grackles. Oh, grackles are twice the grackles as yours. Yeah. <laughs> they have a longer tail and they're darker. That's about it. Yeah. Everyone knows the true value of the grackle is in its tail length. That's right. I thought it was the well, size of the taco they could steal. Exactly. That's, That's a yeah. magpie, Joshua. <laughs> Seriously, no. keep up with the conversation. No, no, magpies eat no, people. Magpies eat people. Yes. Grackles eat tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Go to Old Upper and Southern. Yeah. Unless you have people tacos commonly. I mean. You don't? No. no. Could be a thing. And it's your turn. It's I wish you had some Australian people in chats so that could tell us that magpies are terrifying because I've seen pictures and video and it's horrific. <laughs> if. I gotta be good about that. I gotta be good about <laughs> that. <laughs> yep, yep. About. I agree. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah it's your turn is it just letting you know are you sure uh no oh. where are you gonna put it she's thinking she's thinking hard mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm, that no so, yeah. that's a mistake that's a big mistake there's a gigantic mistake <laughs> why is it a gigantic mistake because when a tile gets placed here <laughs> That's if you guys don't cover it up yet. Yeah, that's if you don't cut them off. So what if we put a tile here and it's got a purple there and you take that? Then you cut them off. Cut them off. Cut them yeah, off. but then you would have to place the tile. Or Josh would have to place the tile. If I place a tile, then Josh will just get it. There is potential you do you, here. You are setting up potential big score. Don't give him that. What's wrong with you? If you rotate it, you lose out on one point, but you prevent him from getting two points. Yeah, I'm in behind right now, so I don't know why you... <laughs> Matt's your biggest foe right now. No. You have more grackles on the board than I do, Josh. Do I? Yes. But look, I give you two points if I do that. I think that. we're about even. No, I don't yeah, want to do I that, just actually. actually you're right. It. You're absolutely correct. I don't want to do that. See, Anne. See. You. There. Okay. <clears throat> so that's there. That's there. <laughs> what is this? Like, Playtime, he's made a pyramid now. He's nice. <laughs> you destroyed my wall? Why are you doing things? What did I do? <laughs> Who let him play? Who let you play? <laughs> what did I do? My turn? Yeah. I'm curious as to what you're going to do now. Why don't you rotate that <coughs> and take the points? I'm going to do that, but I don't want to give you that many points. But he's going to rotate it, and neither of us are going to give points. I'm su super confused as to what Josh is doing. I see what he's thinking, but yeah, I'm not sure that's going to pay off. Yeah, I don't... I don't... There's just not, not enough places to go with it that aren't going to get you. Yep. So I think I'm going to leave that alone. Seriously? Yeah. Hehe. <laughs> okay, grab the tile. Unless you just put your. You could. He's already grabbed the tile. Grab the tile. Hmm. What are you doing, Josh? Looking at my options here. He has it. Uh -oh. I'm getting a you. I, I am. 
Does it sound better now? That's better, yes. Okay. I can go over there. No, not like, In the background, kind of still, yeah. Well, crackly, kind of. Definitely electrical. Yeah, I hear it too. I'll take. I'm. I'm looking it for me? it. No. Nope. Just one way. It's you. Is it mute switch? Can you take your turn before we all die? Um. No. No. There's no fun in that. <laughs> no. <we can't. laughs> We're all doomed. And that was the last anyone heard of them. The stream never there. ended, and they all perished. <laughs> yep, there you go. I'll, I'll put that right there so you can't do anything with it. What'd you do? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> oh, no, are we going to play that game again? <laughs> Rewind the stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a new tile on the board. I don't know where. <laughs> so confused. I'm telling you. All right. I don't want to. Scorched earth, look at that. She's not giving nothing to nobody. Hmm. No. Oh my god! No. <laughs> no. No. Man, no. that song is like precious. Look at that. No. No. He's no bueno. <laughs> <laughs> I just place the one black one down there. <laughs> I can still let you guys fight over that. Exactly. Let you guys burn up your tokens. That's awesome. <laughs> it's okay. I've got 18. Right? I don't know where the buzzing is. Let me see your microphone thing. I think it's gone now. No. Josh, try unplugging your uh, muter. Yep. Nope, still good now. Seems to be gone. So it wasn't me. Yeah, so far so good. Your turn in. Where did Josh go? Well, I like tiles. You're gonna give Josh points, really, in? Seriously? What? Leave my tile alone, and I won't give him any she points. Stop rotating that tile. That's yours now. Yeah, but I don't want it now. It's <laughs> still fun anymore. <laughs> what are you doing, Ann? Where are you placing that? Yes. No, <laughs> not there. That doesn't make sense. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to rotate anything else, Matthew? Uh, possibly. I might want to. Not not right now, though. Oh, okay. Do I? Well, hold on one oh second. Oh, my God. Can you please just take your turn? Yeah, sure. I'll rotate this. I'm just being rotate happy right now. It's fun. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, I'll do that. That's fine. Okay, your turn, Josh. Earth is disappointed, little. <laughs> I don't think he likes that a lot. <laughs> Mm. But for Matt, well, that's what you want? Uh, you can still block him with those three. You're a tool. You jump in and take those three, and uh, you're, you're cutting up. But yeah, then Josh gets to lay all those down. If you rotate this one, then he can't get the point. Then you're going to rotate all my stuff back. I won't rotate your stuff back. Then you're going to take the purple in the middle of my green. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it goes. <laughs> wait, what is it? Don't, don't, yeah, wait. <laughs> don't give him that purple. You have to put it back how it was. If I do that, will you take that purple? We'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see. He's got multiple options right now. Yeah, why not? I like that. It's a good move, in. Yeah, sure. Good good job, Ann. Go team! <laughs> Wait, do it again, do it again. 
Do it again. Turkey! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Team Rocket is blasting off again. <laughs> <laughs> it's appropriate because it's burn themed. <laughs> Zing. Mm, okay. Alright. Oh, yeah, she's going for the big one. Alright. <laughs> It's a good one, Ann. It's good. Thanks. Matt? Thanks. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> what? Do you want the four or the two? Josh, it's your turn. Whatever shall you do? I like how you're all avoiding that big hole over on the left side there. That's, that's a little scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't like this at all. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a happy boy. No, this is not going quite the way he <laughs> don't like this at all. If I rotate that. Help. I can screw you guys over, which doesn't help at all. Helps you. Yeah, it makes you feel better. Yeah, it makes me feel but like You should definitely play games based on your emotions. I think that's the best way to win. Mm -hmm. Uh rage Works play? best for me. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's long con versus short con here. What's it what you think you can pull it off, yeah. <clears throat> So Anne, I think, is winning by a bunch right now. Yeah. She is. I'm not. I just and have one line. You just gave line. him more points. I just have one line. You have three lines on the board. I have three lines on the board. Yeah. Matt has three lines on the board. And Look your line is the longest. <laughs> your second <laughs> one is... The second longest. Oh, the third definitely longest. third longest. Yeah. And then the other one is... Same third. Line. Third long. Can you just play your tokens? Go for the four points. He wants to just jingle the tokens and be really annoying. I know. That's that's my thing. This is an abstract strategy here. game. This is what you get with me. Pull out his arm. With. Both of us. Both. Are going to have to deal with this. With this. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I drink. You don't! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if you need you to start. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Ann. Go ahead. So you're going to take... There's two right there. Okay. I was hoping that's what she was gonna go for. <laughs> right. I was hoping. I was honestly, I thought you were gonna burn your rotate on that one, Josh. Um, it's my last rotate. It wasn't worth it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that yet. Very interesting when you guys move over to the left. There, yeah. I'm not gonna do that yet. Yeah. Fine with me. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's your turn, Josh. FYI. He's grabbed a tile. Everybody stand back. He's <gasps> got a tile. No! <laughs> if you give a sloth a machete. I, give that I don't think that's <laughs> how that book <laughs> I, I don't really see a problem. They're slow. What are you going to do? Something like a good time. Do you imagine? <laughs> yes, exactly. That was my favorite book growing up. Two toad or three toad? Uh, giant sloth. <laughs> oh. You know, the giant sloth is the only reason we have avocados still. Wait, what? Why? Google that. I don't think I want to. I'm, I'm at really? home. I'm Googling it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the giant sloth and post uh, and the postman. I uh, really thought you were gonna say post Malone, and then I was <laughs> way confused. Wait, the postman, like the Kevin Cosmer movie? There you go. Am. <laughs> what do you mean? There you go. <laughs> With the two. Here you go. You block Matt's four. And give him his four. <laughs> I don't think I like that deal. You don't like that dill? Dill. I don't like the dill pickles. Are you in a pickle? Oh. 
Where are you going, Ann? What are you going to do? Besides scratch the table. <gasps> she's rotating. No! I don't know what she's rotating. She rotate that back. <laughs> <laughs> that look is, that is that. correct. This is, that's fantastic. So, um, yeah, giant sloths, along with megafauna-like uh, I, things I can't pronounce, uh, feasted on whole avocados and spread their seeds all over South America. These enormous creatures' digestive system could process large seeds and avocados benefited. When pooped out, their words, not mine, uh, far from their parent trees, the seeds could sprout and grow without competition for water and sunlight. It was a good deal all around, likely resulting in avocados as we know them now. Fatty and large pitted, all the better to attract huge sloths. So, look at this. I think you guys should get some kind of educational credit for your show now. <laughs> Also, no, uh, was originally. also the uh, a post uh, postal delivery man is the other reason why we have avocados. I believe it's something like like eighty percent of avocados grown in California are spawned off of a single tree planted by a postman. Wow, that is that's good to know too. Yes, I'm, I agree with your comments. Or I want a little more, you know, star going across right now. Da, na, 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 How does that help you? Brought to you by PBS. That just gives map points. Josh. But it prevents Josh from getting points. That's what she's getting at. In case you didn't realize. All right, just can't make map. Y'all are so salty. Like, just so salty. How <laughs> salty are we? So salty, Where that. Was yours? It was like this? Yeah, it was like mm-hmm. this. I don't like it. You could, you know what you could also do, Ann? You can put one here. Yeah, I know. And then I can go across that. And wait, wait, no, 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 put it back, no. But look, and look. Remember all the times you rotated that stupid just, tile? Wanna, jo- it was between Matt, it was between out. Josh and I. I want to point something out yeah, to you. You know what I want to point out? I want to point out how you kept on rotating this for three points because you just didn't want to give me the line. Look, yeah. look if you put something there and yeah. then I go there, then yeah. it locks you in for a four wide there. IJS. I'm just saying. If you put something here... Then I get locked in for nothing. I won't put anything there. I don't believe you. If you put something here, I will do it. Because then it blocks Josh's four points there. And also his four points there. See? Actually, five points because he's got one up here, too. They may be conniving, Josh. This may actually have escalated to conniving. Yeah, no, that's that's (laughs) that's just how my life is. (laughs) (laughs) This is what I do. I love my job. (laughs) My coworkers hate me. <laughs> <laughs> they plan my demise every day. Right, yeah, right. That's accurate. That's accurate. What's he putting his coffee? Mm. It's not arsenic. <laughs> that's for sure. X lags. If I put this Wait. here, will you take your four and leave me alone? But then Josh gets four. No, he gets two. He gets four right here. That's not the question I asked you. What are you doing? Uh, she rotated that. Yep. So. She rotated the tile of infinite rotations. You remember? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I what think, are you doing? <laughs> I think that's what I want to do. Cutting off do your it. nose to spite your face? No, it's not. Oh, okay. It. No, it's fine. <laughs> do it. <laughs> you guys are the worst. Do it. <laughs> there's no there's no benefit for me what do you mean there's no benefit for you if we're doing that the other way there's no benefit for me if I put that, something uh, here gets you, oh, it's right just do whatever you're I gonna do I told you how it benefits you yeah but like it's not a good benefit it's not like, <laughs> <coughs> it's not the best benefit right it's not enough I think it's the key <laughs> more I think is what I'm getting at is that I would like more please I'm just saying if you rotate the tile of infinite rotation there will be dire consequences. Oh, that's like a prophecy. I like that. I think you should rotate it, Ann. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. See what happens. See what happens. See what happens. Are you really doing it? A tile of infinite rotation. There will be consequences. <laughs> dire! Really? Dire. Really, Ann? Do it, Matt. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Screw you, Ann. Yeah. Your brain has been rained on. Oh. <laughs> 
Guess <laughs> <laughs> guess what happens now, Anne? I put four here. Yay! <laughs> and Matt's look at his four. Why would Matt's look at his four? <laughs> because it's right under it. it. Unless you block it. No, Matt doesn't get his four, <laughs> Nimrod. You know, Nimrod's Dang actually a oh, great God. hunter. Oh my God. <laughs> it was, uh, Take your turn, Matthew. The Looney Tunes Take is your the turn, reason Matthew. why we think Nimrod is a bad thing. Why do you know the most useless? It was on Facebook the other day. <laughs> was it? Put your microphone close to your mouth. You couldn't just let me have my points? No, you couldn't just let me have my points? Dire consequences. <laughs> I had to teach you a lesson, Anne. Which was? I had to teach you a lesson. Dire consequences. Yes. Dire consequences. <laughs> mm. What are you doing, Matt? Mm. Mm. Joshua! What? What? Why am I yelling at you? Um. Question mark. It's, yeah. uh, what? what? Monday? <laughs> It's Monday. Uh, I'm breathing. <laughs> I'm still alive. <laughs> but turn, like, Josh. why though? Why? Because do? you want him to lock it in. Why do? Because you're giving him one, so that you can take the three. Why oh. do? It's like Plato. Plato. Hmm. Yeah, you're now Bari is saying, remember the lesson taught in Jalapagos. <laughs> that Matt is permanently salty. Yes. That was my favorite moment all time no, on stream. It was the worst. I'm so happy with that. Did you bullet everyone? It was a uh it's a semi cooperative game where you can all win together, but oh. I chose to win by myself. Good for you. <laughs> You get a bullet, and you get a bullet. You get Everybody a bullet. gets a bullet. Yeah. He, he made me build a boat, and then he shot me in the face. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's like the opening sequence of The Dark Knight, when the Joker has all of the other clowns like helping him right. rob the bank, <laughs> and then he and just kills him. Goes bad. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's actually good. Yeah. yeah. And what are you gonna do? Act a fool. That's what she's gonna do. You take those three points. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I like that. <laughs> Josh, you want to read that? The old ones once spoke of a time of infinite rotation and how they warned of the salty one enveloping the world in his salt and infinite whining and man boy tears. <laughs> it's like the I king in salt. I like in. man boy tears enveloping. Enveloping right. the world. <laughs> I could do it in Sketchy's voice. <laughs> in whose voice? Sketchy. I don't think Anne's gotten that. No. Can we add that as a quote? <clears throat> I mean, Nybar, you can do whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, feel free. And it's your turn. Yeah, I know this. Just letting you know. Y'all are set up all over the place. Yes, this is like looking at a bunch of traps that are waiting to go off. You've activated my tarp card. <laughs> it's a trap. What are, you, what are you doing? It's rotating. What are you doing? Why? Why, Anne? I don't like that. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Yes, there are many possible rotations. We're not, we're not done with infinite rotations. <laughs> oh? 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 Almost. Almost. Oh, okay. Ooh. It's interesting. I don't know why. <laughs> hmm. I'm intrigued now. Yeah, I'm that's a, tree a now. very interesting little section you all got going over there. Good luck to you. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Really? 
Okay. Ooh. That's how you feel about your self worth? Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for opening up the yellow black one for me, Matt. You're welcome. That's beautiful, too, because it closes them, yeah. Oh, all right, all right. So that's going that way. Ooh, folks, it's coming down to the final place. What's it going to be? There, there, there. We'll do that. Feel a little bit better. <laughs> Feel a little bit better? Yeah. <laughs> Feel better about myself. This is good. <clears throat> okay. Josh, it's your turn. Do I want to lay a tile? Or let you guys lay the tile. Or rotate a tile, Matt. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like you to rotate this one. <laughs> no. Get down. Oh. Interesting. That's uh. poopy. Yeah, that's kind of poopy. I can't let go of anything else. It's kind of poopy, Josh. It's her hand. You gonna lay the last tile? Or are you gonna lay a grackle? It's up to you. Choice is yours and yours alone. Choice is yours and Post Malone's. <laughs> <laughs> and avocados. How about you? Are you going to... Oh, man. He's got extensions for days. Yeah, I got extensions for days. I could I could let this go yeah. on for a little bit and let you guys sort both do out. that. Yeah. yeah. Sort out that last tile. Or I could try to sort the tile out and kinda uh, I'm gonna let's do extension number one. You like how good how good he feels about himself? Mm hmm Extension number one. Mm-hmm. Locking it down. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Can you place? Oh yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. And then Josh has that. <sighs> Matt, do you have anything left? Nope. And do you have oh, anything left? Yeah, Matt, Matt, look closer. I do? Oh, no, you don't. Sorry. The glass oh. in here made it hard to see. Sorry, Matt. Okay. I okay. thought it was crazy. No, no. <clears throat> Can't go so down. So I think... Uh, you sink. Yep. I think that's it. I think that's it. Nice. That little section closed up fast once y'all went in. Yeah. Boom. And look, for this game, too, there's still so many... Mm -hmm. of the unused spaces just because we did a lot, so much blocking. Yes. Yeah, y'all got much more aggressive in this one. But I don't know. I, I, I can't do the math in my head real quick, but I had a much better showing in round two. This is good. All right. So you ready to count your uh, grackles, boys? I already counted Josh's and mine. Josh is beating me. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> Salty panthers. Right. Uh, and you can count how many you have left. Oh, well, how and many? There's 45 grackles that come in the game right. for each color. 1, 2, 3, 4, 40. One, two, I think three, Josh and Ann tied. 35. Really? And 3 is 32. Yep. I also have 32. Yeah. We tied? We tied. Congratulations. Wow. I won! Count <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to the one, yes. So we don't technically have a tiebreaker for that. We left it as a shared victory because we didn't want to push people too far. One option I do like, though, if you want to, is who used fewer rotate tokens. I do kind of like that as a sort of house rule version. How many rotate tokens do you have left? 18. Yeah, you remember. 18. <laughs> Just one left. I also had one left. Whoever well, laid the longest one. row. Yes, that, <laughs> that is would be Ed because you laid one across the board. Good job, Ann. Thanks. I won! Yay! Congratulations! Very good. Oh, <laughs> that. All right, so that was Grackles by Fireside Games. Justin, do you have anything else about Grackles that you wanted to talk about today that maybe we didn't get a chance to show off in our two playthroughs? 
No, you guys had a great run through of uh, the game, and I think how quickly it will change once you start thinking about the game different. That's one of the things I really like is um, not only are you playing the game itself, you have to play the people and think about who's going to do what to you and all that. Uh, so, no, that's a great example of how easy it is to pick up kind of thing and uh, uh, go from there. <laughs> and the saltiest tiebreaker. I like that. That's good. <laughs> that's good. And is there any other questions that you have for Justin? So, the Grackles is going to be hitting store shelves soon. Um, yes. Are we thinking about, and I'm, I'm, you know, you guys at Fireside Games constantly are coming up with some really great ideas. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Really great, fantastic games, always high quality. Are we thinking ahead for things like expansions or, or you know, series or anything with this game? Is that going to be dependent mm -hmm. on the reception of the game to the public? Yeah, this is actually a bit of um, a stretch for us. We haven't done an abstract before. And while the market likes some abstracts, it doesn't like others. And we're it's a bit of a gamble. We're not too worried because I love the game. I'm super, super proud of it. Um, and I think it's a great game. But uh, we're going to see how it goes. If it plays out, we might take a look because um, the designers did have a sort of companion game to this that we could look at picking up. It's almost a whole different game in a certain way, but anyway, I won't get into it until we start actually looking at it. But yeah, it should go well, we'll definitely look at something else. Um, yeah, uh, uh, same thing with our other game, Remembrance, we're talking about. I keep selling them all, but we'll be looking at lots more things we can put into that. So, so it's okay. awesome. Very cool. So we might see some more kinds of abstract games coming out of Fireside, should this be something that the market is really receptive to. Yeah, yeah. We um, we bump into abstracts a lot. Um, we don't pick them up very often because a lot of them don't do anything for us. They have to hit right. us hard enough like this again kind of thing. So, yeah. Uh, but if something else comes up good, definitely. That would be wonderful. And one of our viewers in chat asked if there was a two-player variant for this game. Um, yeah, the game plays uh, two to four. Um, if they're thinking a two versus two, um, I suppose you could uh, play as a team, sort of. The problem is there aren't enough tokens to do that. You have to use your own tokens. You could just essentially say, these two colors are a team. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a house rule. It's not in the official rule book, but there's no reason you couldn't make that work. And for those uh, viewers at home who aren't familiar really with the term abstract game, I mean, we did just do the playthrough, but what kind of interest... Uh, what other games might I be interested in where I would think that Grackles would be a good game for me to pick up? Uh, like other games that might go well with it? One of my all-time favorites is uh, Suro. Uh, absolutely adore that game. Um, beautiful to look at, fun pieces, really easy to, to pick up. Um, I mean, I think, I think that's the hallmark of a really good um, abstract, is you can teach it or learn it in like two minutes, but you, it takes multiple plays to get really good at it. There's that wonderful sense of, oh, now I get it. Oh, next time I'm going to try this. Oh, I should have done that instead. I'm a huge fan of Suro. I love it for that. Um, and the classics like Othello and Go are still good. It's just we've got so many good things out there right now. Um, uh, Azul is obviously, you know, huge. People love that. Definitely a little, a lot more going on there, though. That's not quite such yeah. an abstract. There's more of a markety thing going on. Um, oh, my gosh. Uh, that, those are the two that are filling my Big head ones. right now. Oh, my head. That's fair enough. Uh, do we have any other projects coming down the pipeline at Fireside? We do. We're officially not announcing it yet, but I'll tease <laughs> that um, we're working on the uh, young kids version of Castle Panic. It's a, a preschool version. Um, we'll be making the official announcement with all the neat hype on that, and that should be really, really fun in terms of if you really want to get the family with the little kids around the table and watch them lose their minds as they try and match some real basic colors and shapes and don't let the monsters get to the castle in a really, really streamlined version of our, our big one, uh, that's going to be super fun. And then it's the 10-year anniversary, so like we said at Gen Con, there are many fancy things coming for Castle Panic, but which I'm working on very hard. <laughs> very good. Cool. Right. Nick was Clubhouse Panic. Clubhouse Panic. There you go. <laughs> right, right. Uh, wh where can our viewers find out more about Fireside Games and to keep up with all of your guys' latest news and developments? Um, the best place is probably, for news and developments, probably our Facebook page. Uh, we're the most active there. Um, we have our website, firesidegames.com. You can go and get information every game, promo, promotional item, branded merchandise, whatever you're looking for. We've got all that stuff there. And then, of course, we're on Twitter, um, at Fireside Games. Uh, so we do all that stuff. I'm a little slow on the Twitter. I'm usually working on making games, and Twitter's kind of my side gig, so a little slow there. But... Um, uh, yeah, that's the best place to find us. We also have a newsletter. If anybody wants to sign up, we do a once a month newsletter that's a really nice way. You don't even have to lift a finger. It just pops in your inbox and it tells you what we're up to once a month. So, all kinds okay. of stuff. Dark Citadel asks if there's ever going to be an expansion for Dead Panic. Oh, Dead Panic. Um, 
Maybe. Dead Panic's kind of a weird one for us. Um, it's a tricky one to support in that way because it's on the edge of its sales kind of thing, but um, I love it and I have some really neat ideas. If we do that, we would probably honestly have to bring it back as a Kickstarter. I don't think we can do it as a traditional game, so that's something we might tinker with, but I can't give you any kind of promises. It's on our list of want to do's, but there's no calendar date for it. So. Yeah. Fair enough. All Very right. good. You good, Anne? I think so. I mean, I won, so. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <Congratulations>, All right. <laughs> All right, so thank everyone for joining us here today. We're going to be signing off uh, just temporarily for now, and we'll be coming back with our first impression session where we, just, where we talk about our favorite aspects of the game, any constructive criticisms that we might have, and then the most important question of the evening of would we play it again. But signing off for now, I'm Matt. I'm Ian. And this is Twist Gaming. Thank you all, and thank you again, Justin. Very appreciated. You bet, guys. Have a good one. <laughs>